Hey y'all, what's cooking? Yeah, you guessed it, it's that time again. It's cold outside. Uh, high today here in South Texas, or South Central Texas actually. It's gonna be about uh, 32, maybe 33. Uh, right now, out on my back porch, it is 32. So it may get up to 34. Got down to the uh, mid-teens last night. Anyway, long story short. What's better on a cold winter's night or day than a good warm bowl of comfort food? My go-to is typically one of the chilies or chicken tortilla soup. We had that last night. That was really good. My daughter made it. Or things of that nature. Uh, just nice hearty dishes. Comfort food's always good. So today I'm I'm going to do something I've not done before. I'm mean, trying a new recipe. I like a good hearty beef stew and this one looked like it was a good one. So come along with me and let's see if we can get this stew knocked out. Oh, I'm also going to make, to go with it, I'm not going to make cornbread. I'm going to make Cheddar Bay Biscuits or I'm going to attempt to. We'll, we'll see how that goes. So let's get on with it. Hey, what's cooking? <laughs> Okay, the stew still has about 50 minutes left and it's time to get on to these biscuits. In this bowl, I have stirred up, I'm actually making a recipe and a half. One recipe calls for two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, three quarters teaspoon of salt with no iodine, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's all mixed up in this bowl. In a separate bowl, this one right over here, I'm going to mix one cup of cold buttermilk and I need a half a cup of melted butter, melted and then cooled for five minutes. So in here, I'm going to mix the buttermilk and the melted butter. So it's time for me to melt some butter. Now it says after you get all of those ingredients stirred up, let's turn again. I'm adding more to this recipe. So stir in a cup of shredded cheddar. <clears throat> it calls for sharp. I don't have sharp so I'm using what I have. This is mild and it says stir this in. You should stir up all the dry ingredients first and then you add the cheddar. And I think that's stirred in good. This has been long enough, so we will add this to here. Oh, that was supposed to be in a bowl, wasn't it? Well, this will work. And stir it until clumps start to form. So you want to stir this until it starts to form clumps. I think it's clumping until small clumps form. That's what it says. It looks small clumpy to me. Now add it to this and stir until it makes a dough. So we'll stir this up until it makes a dough. Well, I don't want you on there.
lazy man in me wants to use my kitchen aid for this. And the ingredients are no longer dry. Still got a little dry flour. It says don't over mix though, which is why I'm not using my kitchen aid. I think this might work. I don't see any dry ingredients. That looks doughy to me. Don't it you? Now it says lightly grease a quarter cup. So I'm gonna take part of this stick of butter and I'm gonna grease the inside of this cup. I don't know why it's greasing. It says also to lightly grease this pan. So I'm gonna take the same stick of butter and I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna lightly grease this pan. because I don't want it to be sticking. Now a normal recipe makes 10 biscuits. So we've got a few big eaters here, that's not enough. So this recipe should make 15 because I, I didn't double it but I halved it again. Now I'm going to scoop out the dough. Making quarter cup size biscuits. These are gonna be funky looking biscuits, I'm telling you. I ain't the best baker in the world necessarily. Come on, get out of there. I may have to do two pans. Cook two batches of these. about an inch apart you know a metal quarter cup might work better than this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them all roughly the same size with my finger since they're already nasty. Yeah, I'm going to have to cook these in two batches, I can tell. But that's okay.
it'll take me a bit to get everything settled down. The oven is at temperature. It says get these in the oven, bake for about 12 minutes until they're golden brown. Right now I've got 12. And I'll get another pan and grease it up. And get the rest of those biscuits on here so they'll be ready to go in the oven when those others are done. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. this mixed real well. I've got some dry ingredients down here. Well, they're not really dry. They're just not as wet as the rest of this. I don't want to leave any of that cheese behind. So these biscuits may not turn out very good at all. It may not. In fact, None of them may turn out very well. All right, that'll have to do. That's 17 biscuits. That's a few more than it called for, but they're not equally sized, I don't think. These may come out looking more like cat head biscuits. And I'll come back when these are ready to come out of the oven. And I'll show you what they look like. Timer's going off. So let's look at our biscuits. 12 minutes or until they're golden brown. They're not quite golden brown. Give them another minute or two. This is melted butter and garlic. It says melted butter, garlic, and parsley. I don't have any parsley, but that's all right. Okay, they're kind of golden brown. I'm gonna call them done. I'm gonna put this other batch in. Set the timer for 12 minutes. Now, it just says, to brush the tops of these immediately and serve. Well, we're not gonna serve for a minute, but I wanna get them brushed. I may not have made enough for the other Five. Okay, let these sit. I can always make some more of that up if I need to. And after the other batch comes out and I doctor them, I'll let them cool a little bit and then I'll taste them to see how they are. Okay, this is done. I want to thicken it up some. I don't know how much of this I'm going to have to use, but this is a quarter cup of water and three tablespoons of cornstarch. So we'll put that in there and give this a stir and give it a minute to thicken. And we'll see if I need to do it again. It smells really good though. That may not have been enough. I don't know how thick I want it, but I don't think that's going to be thick enough. Now I definitely want it thicker than that. So I'll do it again. Okay, second batch of biscuits is out of the oven. Got my melted butter and garlic. 
and brush it on the top. And I'll let these cool for a minute and then I'll give one of them a taste. And I added one more cornstarch treatment to my stew. And I, that's thick enough. I don't really, I don't think I want it any thicker than that. That looks like a piece of a rosemary sprig I need to get out of there. I gotta find those two bay leaves too. And the rest of the rosemary sprigs. There's one of the bay leaves. There's the other bay leaf. There's some of the rosemary. I'm gonna have to warn everybody <laughs> not to, to to check their spoons full to see if they get pieces of rosemary because they need to come out. There's one. These were whole sprigs. They just flat came apart. Okay. Warn everybody we will. I don't see any more. I know there's some in there though. Alright. When everybody gets home, this will be ready. That biscuit don't look too bad. They got a little, the second batch got a little dark on the bottom, but... All right, how do they taste? Well, this is the acid test for the biscuit. Hmm. That is a tasty biscuit. It really is. That's pretty yum. I hope the stew is just as good. We will find out here in a minute. Everybody's home. Okay, so how is it? Hot. <laughs> Very hot. Mmm. Mm, the, the meat. Those chunks of roast just fall apart. And it's, it's got a sweetness that I wasn't expecting. I don't know if it's because of the extra carrots that I put in or possibly from the rosemary. I don't know. But it's unlike any stew I've ever had. But I like it. One more bite, just to test. Mm. Oh my goodness. You like comfort food? You like a good hearty stew? Give this one a try. I think you'll like it.